This is Andrew Stotts of A. Stotts Investment Research talking about world-class benchmarking for the company Pepsi-Cola Products, Philippines. Uh, this is a fan request. Now, this company was founded in 1947 and the company is PepsiCo brand in the Philippines. Manufactures, this company manufactures, sells and distributes beverages under the PepsiCo brands to retail, wholesale, restaurants, and bar trades. That's mainly carbonated drinks, including Pepsi-Cola, 7-Up, Mountain Dew, Mirinda, and Mug Root Beer. Non-carbonated beverages include Gatorade, Tropicana, Twister, Lipton, Sting, and Propel Fitness Water. And what some people don't know is that my career out of university started at Pepsi-Cola in America, in Los Angeles. In fact, my hat's off to Pepsi because they paid for my MBA, which made me a better employee and a better man. Thank you, Pepsi. All right, let's look how Pepsi is, P-I-P, in the Philippines. Well, unfortunately, the profitable growth has been falling for the past five years, from a five, from a four to a five to a six to a seven. Profitability, profitability and growth have both fallen and are now ranked at a seven. Ooh, that hurts. Now, asset utilization has been good, number three, but profit margin is what is dragging down the profitability. It's a number eight. Sales growth is above average at a four. But due to the poor margin change, PIP's growth rank has been poor at a 6 or a 7 over the last 4 years. Overall, not a good performance. But of course, if we look at Pepsi and Coke and these type of beverage companies, they've been suffering around the world as people are consuming less sugar. Ah, you want to see a company in your portfolio? Well, just let me know and give me a comment and I will do it if I have it. Have a great day.